Hello, today I'm gonna teach you the basics of auto contacts. If you don't know what auto contacts can do, please watch my previous tutorials as well, so you would understand what it really can do. Those were some examples. In this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you the basics of it. There will be also another tutorial with more advanced stuff you can do with auto contacts but that's for later on maybe one of the next tutorials so the first thing you need to do is get the latest version of tasker the second thing you need to do is to download the plugin auto contacts where can you find auto contacts it's very easy go to google plus and look to the page tasker plugins by joat mgct it's very difficult to pronounce it but that's all where the auto apps are located just register at that community and you can be a tester and you will find also auto contacts so let's get back to our phone so when you downloaded auto contacts go to your apps yeah apps i'm gonna open that and let's open auto contacts and you will see this one the first thing is support auto contacts the second thing is use auto contacts in tasker and the third is force refresh contacts and we have also manage contacts and then you will see also some logs and also toast on action that's checked in my case so the first thing you need to do when you open auto contacts use this one for refresh contacts and when you do that it will register all your contacts from your address book the last one is here manage contacts when you click on that you will see your contacts when you long press on one name you can add a nickname do you need nicknames no it's not always needed but it can come handy example your father can be have a nickname like that so when you have done that everything is set up also use auto contacts in tasker and that's where the fun begins let's open tasker right now you see several profiles and those are just test files uh, everything is made by auto voice so I'm use auto voice as trigger and we set up also several tasks and in this task will be also auto contacts so let's open the first one the most used will be I think call contacts and when I open that you will see auto voice recognized event and we have a task called contacts one i call this one call contacts one because i have also other tasks with the same name so i had to change this one the trigger is auto voice recognized i won't explain how you use auto voice uh, recognized but i will explain what's inside it so let's open that and you will see here event behavior is true command is call and then we use the code for the variable name and we use rejects that's all we need to do when i go back and let's open call context the task you will see several things the first thing we need to do is auto contacts and we use some configuration so if you don't know how to do that I, I will do it again you will click on the plus button then you click on plugins and you will see here uh, auto contacts click on that and then you see here the configuration and let's edit the configuration let's click on the pencil button here and you see here a query of your contacts the contact name or nickname so we click on that and we set here the variable name okay that looks fine for me let's go back and you will see number five is the same as number one so i gonna delete this one long press and i'm gonna cut that so we use the variable name because i'm going back right now in the 
call context we used also the variable name so you need to use that again in auto context as well so the second action is a say command and what did I say let's see searching your context found name and then we see the variable AC name EC stands for auto context and then the name so AC name will find the first name and we use also the TTS here you can choose that by the magnify glass and that's all you need to do let's go back and then flash AC name and then we call the EC number so here we have auto context it will get one name of your context and inside this one we have several other variables inside it like EC name EC number EC email EC events etc etc so from that we are gonna use the EC name and we are gonna flash that on our phone and we also use the EC number and that's the number linked on that variable contact name so we use the call function and we call the number EC number and you can also use auto dial it will direct dial so that was the first example okay I hope you understood this one this one was very easy so the second one is text contact it's likely the same but some difference inside it so let's open that and we use auto voice recognized events and let's open that and you will see event behavior is checked or true and then we have the command the command is text space the variable name width and then a variable message if you don't understand this one let's open it up and let's see it event behavior is on let's go down and you will see here on command fielder you will see text space then variable name and now with the message and let's see the task right now is text context let's open that and you see only two things the first thing is auto context and the auto context will be the configuration is name the variable name and then we use the compose sms and we use the number ec number is the number and the message is our variable message so that's quite easy so if you don't know where to find compose sms click on the plus button and then you will see here uh, on the phone you will see here compose sms let's open the third basic profile is email contacts email contacts let's open that auto voice recognized and we have also here event behavior is true and the command will be now email name with message always use rejects and the task inside it is email contacts and we use also two actions and the first action is again the same is variable name and the second is compose email so if you don't know where to find compose email just click on the plus button then click on net and then you will see here compose email so our configuration of compose email would be the recipients are ec email auto contact email you can put a verb uh, you can put a subject inside it and the message is message that's all you have to do so let's go on with the next profile the next profile would be birthday contacts and the birthday context is auto voice recognized events and that's also even behavior is true and the command is one is the birthday of and then the name 
use also regex. Be sure you type the code correctly. So let's go back and let's open the birthday contacts and we'll we will see here a lot. So let me explain everything. So the first thing we need to do is using auto contacts again. That's the same as before. Let's open that. As you see, contact name or nickname is again the variable name. That's quite easy. So the second part we need to do is doing some split variables. So let me explain that. Let's open my notepad. So when you show the uh, EC events, we have 2013, 11 and 6. So we need to split that. So we split, split variable um, EC events and we use the splitter that sign. Okay. Now we have 2013, we have 11, and we have no 6. 2013 will be EC, EC events uh, 1. Oh, sorry. 11 will be EC events 2, and no 6 will be EC events 3. So I hope you understand the split work what I'm doing right here. Splitting the variable. Why I'm doing this? Because I want to see the birthday in another way. I wanted to see it like this. 06 or 6 November 2013. So we have you see events, then we have EC events 2, and then we have EC events 1. That's what we need, and also EC events would be a word like November. So let's get back to our. Uh, phone and you will see here I'm using the splitter EC events and the splitter is this one and then the EC events 2 if the variable EC events 2 is the same as 0 1 it will be January 0 2 etc etc you also you also can do this in a shorter way I showed that before in other tutorials as well how you can do that I did it for this example in separated actions till 12 and then we say the birthday is EC events 3, EC events 2 and EC events 1. That one was the birthday. Then we have also the address contacts. The address contacts is what's the address of the name. Again almost the same as the profiles as before. And the address contacts will be two actions. The first, you know that it's again the same, and it's the name. And the say command is the address of EC name is EC address. That's all you have to do. So I hope you would understand now the basics of auto contacts. Those are just easy examples. How you can create something like that. In the next tutorial I will explain more advanced stuff for auto contacts. I hope you liked this one. Uh, I saw several people had some problems with it. I hope I explained it as well so you would understand everything. But if you have any questions just leave a comment below on my Google page or on YouTube and I will help you as soon as possible with that or maybe other will help you as well. So I will see you in the next tutorial with more advanced stuff for auto contacts. Thank you.